It's that time of the year when the leaves start to show their vibrant colors. People are always trying to predict, are we going to have a good colorful fall or not? And according to Aviva Yasker with the Woodlands Nature Center at Land Between the Lakes, the weather plays a big factor. Ideal conditions, you know, to produce a, a good fall color is a, a warm and rainy spring. Um, followed by a, a fairly mild summer that, that um, is not a drought, not super hot, followed by a fall with uh, warm sunny days and cool nights. Hiding the entire summer, that yellow color you see right there. But once photosynthesis stops in the fall, this color reveals itself. The uh, period of daylight every day gets shorter and shorter and shorter and uh, plants sense that, that shortening daylight and that causes them to produce less and less chlorophyll. That's when you start to see the colors. Yasker says along with colors you might want to keep an eye out for something else. A lot of times wildlife is coming out at this time because the fall color change happens to coincide when there's a lot of um, wild foods being abundant. So from amazing wildlife to beautiful leaves there's a lot you don't want to miss this fall. At Land Between the Lakes, I'm meteorologist Jason Lindsay for Weather Nation.